Hi, I'm Brian Gase. I'm an engineer here at Rivian. We're over at Overland to show you the R1T. Uh, I want to talk about some of the Overland specific features. So overlanding means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. We're just really excited about people that want to go and have an electric adventure. That's what as a company we're all about. One of the first things to point out is our uh, suspension. So the vehicle can uh, raise and lower 360 millimeters. We can get 14 inches of ground clearance underneath the vehicle to a completely flat structural underbody. When I say structural underbody, that means you can high center above the battery pack. You're not going to have any damage. We've got optional skid plates as well for front and rear to protect the motors. Um, great approach and departure angle. For anyone that is in town, come by and look at us. We've got all our specs on the sheet. The thing behind me that I want to show you guys is our kitchen. This is our Rivian integrated camp kitchen. So while we uh, open up the gear tunnel here, you'll see the kitchen. As we talk, the kitchen is a full pullout. So we'll slide it right past the gear bin door. And now you've got this, you know, full capable, ready to go cook space. I know you guys already know all about Rivian. So you've seen the gear tunnel. You've seen us talk about it. You've seen us open the doors and use them as seats and steps. We have a kitchen now that shuttles in and out. So I can take my cooktop, I can open and close it. And once I close the cooktop, sorry, maybe I can't, there we go. I close the cooktop, I slide the whole thing in the bin, it seals back up just like it was and you can go and drive away. Um, the reason we have this here is it's an overland show, it's an overland community. And we're not, this isn't a production release, ready to go kitchen, this is an idea, it's a concept. It's to get people excited. The same way we have the tent, the same way we have some, you know, more off-road capable gear. Um, we want you to look at this as an electric vehicle that's capable of going places. You guys already know about the 400 mile range. That's gonna get you out to do a lot of things. Your first question is probably, well, that's great, 400 miles. What does that do when I'm off on a trail? So we're looking at what this vehicle does in places like the Cocapelli, making sure that when this goes on your multiple day adventure, it can sit, you can have you know, meals. We cooked breakfast on this this morning for our team. We're gonna cook again later today. Um, do all of those things, have your full journey, still have plenty of range left to get home, and do it all with zero emissions. In the kitchen you see here, I've got an induction electric cooktop, I've got a water heater, and I've got a sink with a little electric pump. Um, all of this is connected to the vehicle system. So the same way you would plug in in the back and the electric ports to run uh, whatever equipment you have, this runs off the battery pack. So I've got 180 kilowatt hours in my large battery pack in the vehicle. I can run this, not a problem. Um, and you don't need an additional generator. You don't need an additional you know, battery device. You don't need another fuel source. It's all tied directly to the vehicle itself. Early numbers from looking at this, based on uh, what we've seen, we've put out uh, some recent press releases. Um, I believe it's somewhere around, you can cook for a week. It takes about 11% of your battery capacity. Uh, so certainly not gonna hamper uh, all the adventures you wanna have. And if you are somebody who wants to go and take this behind your RV, you are able to do some, uh, some tow behind charging, um, certainly flat tow on the vehicle. We showed you the kitchen, but if you're cooking for all those people that we talked about for that week that you're out overlanding, out camping, out having fun with your family or friends, you got to have space to store it. So right here, we just have, you know, a normal electric cooler. Cooler can plug in. Uh, we're looking at not only using an off-the-shelf available unit, but getting one that is customized to this shape so you can maximize your storage, maximize your volume, maximize the time that you have refrigerated food in this compartment. And that would be a removable piece you can lift in and out of the truck. Absolutely. Removable. It'd be something that you can have when you want it. You take it out when you don't need it. So coming back to the back of the vehicle, what you see is uh, just a tent up on top. Um, we're looking at how we integrate things into our bed. You know, our bed has a uh, Riven Design unique shape. We want to be able to offer the camp tops, the cooktops, all of those great things. In the back here, we're just showing a tent. The Overland community living off their vehicle, having a place to stay. You could put the same top up on the roof. We put it down here so the vehicle remains more aerodynamic. So when you are getting to the campsite, you're consuming as little energy as possible.